Today, Fairchild Air Force Base is celebrating 100 years of aerial refueling. To commemorate, they held uh, flyovers all across the Northwest. And Creme 2's Brandon T. Jones was out at the Air Force Base for that takeoff. It's really loud. Really loud. It's really loud. <laughs> a little noise can't take away from the excitement that's about to come. Cameras out, earplugs in, and an early morning drive from Newport to celebrate a piece of history in our country. So we got up at 3.30 mm, this morning to come down. Alicia Rodell and her family had a front row seat to it all. The Fairchild Air Force Base rolled out several of these throughout the morning, honoring those that came before them. So it's something we take for granted nowadays, especially the air crew, because it's so normal for us. But, uh, you know, 100 years ago, I can't imagine having a, you know, some biplanes and, and, a, and literally a garden hose to pass gas. What's so normal for these military officials is mind-blowing to the average spectator. Inspiration for young recruits. I want to go save some people. One base responsible for flyovers in seven states in just a matter of hours. Uh, so to bring them out here this morning, you know, be right next to the runway to see the elephant walk and the departure, uh, I would be, you know, if I was them, I'd be really motivated and, and happy to be here. For Alicia, motivation is exactly what her son, niece, and nephew took away from the up-close opportunity. Watching these KC-135 Strato tankers take off in front of them is something they'll take away as cherished memories, no matter how loud it was. It's a rare opportunity for them to be able to see something that close and to be able to experience that firsthand, so it was pretty important. From Airway Heights, Brandon T. Jones, from 2 News.